Hi, I hope you're all well today. It is Thursday, the 5th of October. I'm doing it a day early today because I typically record on a Friday um, because this weekend is going to be very busy. I've got a charity diamond painting event going on where I'm going to be diamond painting for 24 hours um, to raise money for a Breast Cancer Now charity. It's a, an event that we're doing on my Facebook uh, diamond painting group. So I'm going to be diamond painting for 24 hours, but that's going to be over two days. So Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I'm going to try and record some of it as well. I've also got Chubbs asleep in the background. Chubbs. Chubbs. Stop snoring. <laughs> Maybe you can see her. <laughs> She, she's terrible at us. Her snoring is so loud that I can hear her when I'm in bed. Um, I'm used to it, but I just don't want her snoring in the background. Anyway, I didn't do as much stitching as I usually do this week. Um, my head's been a bit all over the place. Homeschooling has been taking up a lot of my time. Um, I started messing around with clay again for the first time in years for the... Um, Etsy shop because I want to well I I'm getting away from resin um, cover minders and diamond painting accessories and all of that type of stuff because I'm homeschooling now so this room that I'm in is my craft room and it's also where all of my Etsy shop items are so like I've got desks over there oh, hang on. that's Harrison's chair but why am I zooming in? All of these desks over this side is where I would have done all of my resin, right near the window. But unfortunately, because I've got my son here most of the day, resin's quite dangerous. Um, you have to wear PPE, you have to wear a mask, you have to wear gloves, protect your clothes, protect your skin, and the fumes are toxic to breathe in. So when I do it, I can't have Harrison, my, son, my youngest, or the dog in here. Um, but now I'm homeschooling, this desk on this side is where me and him do our homeschooling. So it's either I keep doing it and I only do it once a fortnight when he's not in the house or um, I just move away from it. But clay, I really enjoy working with clay anyway, um, but it's been a long time since I've used it. So I'm just trying to get back to remembering the techniques that I did years ago when I used to mess about with clay. Um, but I use air dry clay as well most of the time. I don't really like polymer clay because you have to bake it in the oven and I don't like the thought of putting my food in where the clay's been unless I buy a mini oven or something. Chuck, why are you snore so much? <laughs> right, let's get straight into the stitching because she is going to snore through the whole of this. Right. I'm going to show you the Lord of the Rings first. Um, I didn't fix the mistake, so it's still there, but I am slowly working towards the mistake. I didn't stitch on this as much as I wanted to this week. See, on camera it looks much better, because... Um, when I was stitching this, I actually thought that the colours were a bit off. This tower, basically, I think what this part of the image is, is the the tower, the eye, where the eye sits. Um, but there's two of them, so this is like a close-up of the eye, and then this is, this is um, the same thing, but further away. I will put where my face is up. Just sitting here looking at the pattern um, to get a screenshot and that is um, not another tower is it? It's first I said Sauron but this guy here is Sauron um, and this is Saruman. The, um, he's the one that had the ring in the first place isn't he? He's the bad guy that originally had the ring. Am I being an idiot or something? Like, I'm sure I'm right. I'm going to have to ask my partner about this because I'm not that clued up 
on Lord of the Rings. Like I, so I do get things confused, but this person, this big black outline, is the front of his armor, isn't it? Is it's the front of his armor? It's his armor, his face. I'm sure of it. So the tower is um, in the background with the eye, and then he is in the forefront. Is that right? Put. I'll zoom in on that part of the the chart for this so you know what I'm talking about. But when I first started doing it, I thought, this is, looks really weird, like all of the colours. To me, when I'm this close to it and I'm stitching, I was just like, what is going on? But now I look further away, excuse the hair, I, I haven't bothered with anything since, <laughs> since I've been homeschooling. I don't even think I've straightened my hair in the last three weeks. <laughs> um, yeah. It's it looks better from afar. So I think once I start coming out here, it will it will trust the process is what I'm going to say with this bit. Trust the process because when you're like this, you you think what the hell is that? But when you pull back, it kind of makes sense. If that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, I did one thousand one hundred and twenty seven stitches on this. And that gives me 1.10%. So we got over the 1%, which is the main thing that I wanted to do this week. Um, I really did want to stitch more on it. There was only one day where I had a really good stitching time on it that I did 8, 814. Um, but the other two days that I worked on it, I only did 162 one day and 151 the next day. Um, I just didn't get enough time on this one. But I also don't want to force myself to do it. So I will accept the fact that I didn't get much done. So back to the homeschooling. While I have um, been sitting here with my son and he doesn't need my input because we, we do it on a laptop and there's a teacher on the screen, the teacher doesn't have to see him, but he has to type. So I don't need to like, I'm not the teacher if that make I'm not the teacher so but I am sitting with him for the whole time he's on it so often I will pick my stamped cross stitch up um, because it's easy to start and stop so if he wants my help or helps needs help with spelling something where he's communicating with the teacher I'll stop and I'll help him um, and I'm sitting right next to him so I did some of the stamped kit and this will actually come in perfect come in perfect, come in handy for when we are homeschooling. I think I'm going to keep this as the thing that I do while I homeschool. I mean, this week I have been diamond painting more than I have been cross-stitching next to him because um, I've got this 24-hour thing and I've also got other things going on. If, if you watch my diamond painting videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to talk to it about it too much here. So I did a bit more of the petals. I'm thinking I'm going to move somewhere else. But or do I finish this flower? Because this is the only only the top of the flower. You've got another part of it down here. So I don't know whether to move my hoop down a bit, finish the flower, leave the background, and then go on to another part of the, of the um, image. I'll put... The original image here for you um, and I worked out that I did about two no two hours one day and an hour the other day next day so I can't count how many stitches that I've done on this one um, because it's stamped and it's not in pattern keeper but I'd say I got about three hours done on this or or three hours worth of stitching time down. I don't know, I can't find, seem to find my words today. Alright, so this one is Pokemon Gen 1. And I made a cover minder to match this. Just before I show you the chart, I mean the, the pattern. Isn't he so cute? Best Pokemon ever. What the duck? Psyduck. I haven't got to him yet. He's, I think he's in the middle somewhere. So I, 
I know I said I was going that way last time, but I decided to move my hoop and come down here because if you remember, let me just fold the back. If you remember before, I said I wanted to get page finishes done so I could transfer all of my patterns over to the new tablet. So this is Kabuto. Is it Kabuto or Kabutops? I can't remember. But I'm starting on this little dude here. He's a fossil Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, if I can remember rightly. But I wanted to finish uh, this page because this and this one is part of one page. Um, the progress for this one is a little bit confusing because on the chart there is a background. Um, and because I came back over this way, I had to cancel out, I had to tick off the background on Pattern Keeper. So it says that I did 1,144 stitches, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to guess and say I did about 500 stitches on him. Because I'd say most of it would have been background. Or at least over half of them stitches were background. I think the background should come like to about here. So I that bit was already ticked off, but all of this bit here and I think around here was I, I ticked it off because I don't I'm not doing the background, I'm just leaving it um white. So that is him. I enjoyed working on that. I kept forgetting though that I was doing um two strands full cross on, on this piece because I always do half stitch on most of my uh, cross stitches um, and it felt like it was taking forever sometimes because I'm, you're doing double the amount of stitching um, and then last night I had a quick go on poinsettia pixie I didn't do much but I had a quick go um, so I did 353 stitches of black. This will not look any different really to what you saw last time. Um, this is the top of her head. And then her face will be around here. Because it's all, it's all going to be that way. But I will put a picture. Oh, I didn't put a picture. I didn't move Pokemon out of the way. For a um, picture. Chubs, will you stop snoring? <laughs> um, yeah, point for set of pixie because I'm doing all of the black on this one. So you'll see the black outline first. I will work on this again next week because I am enjoying doing the black and it goes quite fast because it's half stitch, uh, two strands, half stitch on 25 count, I want to say. This looks like I'm pretty sure it is 25 count because it's quite a large. It's, uh, when I say large, <laughs> it's a big piece of fabric. So that is top of her head. So we're getting there, but I've got a lot to do on this, an awful lot to do. And I think it will be nice to do the black. So you will see this one again next week. You'll obviously see Lord of the Rings next week. Um, I am going to be obviously missing two days of stitching time because I'm going to be doing f fully focusing on diamond painting for, uh, Saturday and Sunday this week. So there might not be as much stitching to show. But if I do things like poinsettia pixie, which is easy because it's just black, um, I'll still do the stamp cross stitch uh, during homeschooling. Lord of the Rings, and I might just keep them three, or I might stick another one in, take Pokemon out and stick another one in. Maybe Daft Daddy, because that's a really easy one to stitch, actually. That's probably a good idea. I might do a bit of Daft Daddy. Um, because before I did that black outline, I could fill in the background of that. That's a good idea. Right, okay, so I'm going to go, because I have loads to do. Um, I'm sorry this isn't a very good video, and I'm a bit all over the place, but... Next week should be a bit calmer once I've got this 24 hours event 
charity thing out the way. Um, I'm also really busy on the group as well because we're doing um, like charity bids for diamond paint and canvases that people have donated. Well, one lovely lady's donated 10 or 12 kits or something crazy like that. She's donated to the charity. Um, and we're doing one a week, not one a week, one a day. Um, and then I have to transfer over the money and it's, um, I've got to make sure that I keep an eye on that. Um, and then I'll be given a prize away at the end. There's, there's prizes for the people that donated the most. Um, and then I let everyone pick my next canvas. So there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. But I will see you next week. You don't want to hear about that if you've just come for the cross-stitching anyway. <laughs> so if you're interested in any of that, make sure you watch my diamond painting videos. They're in separate playlists on the channel, uh, Floss Tube and Diamond Painting. And I will see you hopefully next Friday with a bit more of an update. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get that page done on Lord of the Rings. That'll probably be my focus for this week is to just get that page finished and we can see what that eye looks like from the distance. Should look better than it does at the minute. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.